editing a vlog and I always forget how long it takes to edit because I have a MacBook and if any of you are longtime viewers like hey Wendy, hey Delaney, you might be here. Um, I got this in 2014. It still feels like I just bought it and it's so ancient that everything takes about a million times longer and if I don't have it plugged in at all times, it will not work. So that's what we're working with and why my vlogs now take hours and hours to edit instead of like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's so frustrating, but we can't afford to get a new laptop, so that's not on my priority list. So I know I used PayPal credit when I bought this back in 2014 where I had like six months to pay it off. Um, but right now I wouldn't be able to pay it off in six months. So <laughs> well, there's that. Um, anywho, I was just, because I'm always like, how can I make my computer more efficient? And I'm deleting things off of it, but it's, it's just, it's it needs a new one. Um, I was going through old footage though and I was, I didn't film it because like that's not my personality to do that on camera. I don't think you probably rarely see me cry. You've seen me cry a few times. Um, but I was seeing old uh, videos of Chester, and again, if you've been here for a while, you know that was my little yellow Persian. Now I feel sad just even talking about it, but I was getting rid of videos, and I cannot for the life of me get rid of the videos where he's in like a majority of them. Um, and I know I have them on YouTube, like you guys that have been here, like have, you know Chester, and he's in a lot of videos, but I can't for some reason get rid of those raw files, and I need to, it's just like... I just need to do it, but not today. Anyways, um, in my last video, which is what I'm editing right now, I did some heat pressing and I have my muscle mummy one that I still need to press, but I can't figure out what like shirts I had planned it on. So I did a whole order of shirts like for embroidery, for my screen printing, um, for like the specific designs. And I didn't write it down, so I'm like, of course I'll remember that. I don't remember that. So I need to go through all my blanks and see what the plan was. And maybe, I don't know if I accidentally put <laughs> the ones that I just did on the wrong shirts that I had in my brain. They work perfect on those. I'm glad I did, but I'm almost wondering if I... No, that doesn't make sense. I need to figure that out. So we're going to go into my... Um, spare room and start organizing the blanks and I'm gonna write it out and put it on a piece of paper on top of the blanks what design they are for. That way tomorrow we can start doing the muscle mummy ones and I do have some that are still out in the mail somewhere um, in USPS land floating around that are coming for more and then I need to figure out <laughs> which extras I have for my embroidery designs um, because we need to get her back out. I need a name for my sewing machine. It's an old woman. I know that for sure. I just haven't figured out what her name is. Type that in the comments. What should like an old lady name be? Now I'm working on a thumbnail so I'm gonna do that. I need to make lunch and I will uh, wrap back into this soon, but I'm gonna put you on music for a little bit. No one seems to hold me like you do. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark day 
I still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still I finished eating, rewatched some of that footage that I just filmed And uh, just to clear up some things Not pregnant, just a uh, postpartum body and a uterus here, whatever. Um, also, I feel like I've said this before, um, I rarely, by that, I mean I don't wear my wedding ring when I'm in my house. And sometimes not even outside the house, because I forget it. <laughs> it's only been like, well even my engagement ring, I didn't wear that, and that's been over. It's been almost two years now, year and a half. I don't know, whatever the case is. Um, we're doing fine. I just don't love wearing it around the house. I just don't like wearing jewelry at all on my hands and fingers. So there's that. Maybe I get a tattoo someday. I don't know. Anyway, so let's go to the back room. Also can't forget my drinky drink. Have you ever seen me drinking anything? It's either my green juice or this, which is a grapefruit seltzer mixed with light apple juice. Because I don't love seltzers alone, uh, but I do like apple juice and I don't want a whole thing of apple juice, so it just makes it the perfect bubbly light combination. And trust me, just try it. Just try it. That is atrocious. So we're <laughs> gonna move you this way. And the lighting sucks over here. Let me go put up the window. So, oh, this is actually good. Um, I have my heat press. My mom bought me this big table, which will be great if I start doing craft fairs, uh, markets. I, I don't want to do craft fairs. Um, markets, not craft fairs. And festivals. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of designs for potential festivals. Cannot wait for a specific spring festival that will be maybe my first one. I don't know, I might wanna do a fall one. I need stock first, so <laughs> let's get into this. Um, anyways, yes, I have my table. I have my... <laughs> this is my Misfit collection. We'll get into that another day. <laughs> this is my Motherhood University collection. Um, and this is my bougie collection. These are my embroidery items, but we need to do not you dare, sir. Orange Kitty, Max, if you will, is literally the naughtiest kitty that I have ever owned. I didn't, I'm sorry, so sorry, not owned. Had the pleasure of living with, been roommates with. Um, we need to organize the transfer sheet merch and see how much we have and then see what I could embroider because I need to get more done. Those take forever so the more I work on that daily the better <laughs> for everyone. Okay I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel so lucky I met you. It's not logical. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room. It's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you. I feel so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from All right, let's math here. I have 24 gray sweaters, I have 15 tan sweaters, and 18 black sweaters. I need to recount the tan ones because that doesn't sound what I would have ordered. What was I like? I've had vertigo all week, but I order these before my vertigo, so like I can't even blame it on that. No, that's right, 15. Okay, 
Okay, I figured it out. I did get sent two extra skeleton decals than what was supposed to come. So I ordered a gang sheet of 20 and she sent me 22, which is awesome. And I'm very grateful because that's two extra shirts I can make now. And that means I'm probably just going to go to, I ordered everything from the clothing shop because you get a discount for bulk. But since I only need two, I might just see the price difference between getting it at Hobby Lobby because I have a Hobby Lobby like a mile away from me. So I might as well just get it there. Unless it's just cheaper and then like a lot cheaper, like a couple dollars cheap. We'll see. I don't know. Because small orders, I don't know. That's, that's, that's besides the point. <sighs> Ugh, so many decisions. I have 16 gray ones being used up and I have 24. So that's a good amount of extra. And then I have my 10 mummy decals, which you guys saw there, but I don't know. I almost think black's going to look the best with it because it's a lighter print. I'm pretty sure. No, just kidding. Black will look dumb with that. <laughs> okay, well, if I have 10, I don't have enough to do this. Hmm. I might... I might just get for the mummy ones, you know what would be really good is if getting comfort colors, just like a pump cover type t-shirt where I could put those on the back of it because workout mummy, you're probably working out with it and you're not gonna, well, you might wear a sweater to the gym. It is Halloween weather. Maybe I should just use the sweaters then for it. And if that's the case, I am short a few. I ha see, the thing is, I have enough merch to put everything that I'm getting on, but I don't have the right amount of colors for the amount I'm wanting. So I think what I'm going to start with, I believe my decals are going to come in the next couple days. I think if I order right now on the My Clothing Shop, it should be here in time. So for me to do it simultaneously and not have to wait like a week or so. Let's just plan I'm going to spend the rest of the day planning out exactly what I'm going to use it for and see if I need to make an order or just go to Hobby Lobby. That's the decision I need to make. You are not allowed out there. In case you guys were wondering, <laughs> I do have a bachelor's and a master's degree. Putting it hard at work or has a stay at home mom. <sighs> I have some stuff just like in limbo that I cannot decide if I want to sell it or not or if I want to keep it. So that's why it's been sitting out, but like that's not doing it any good. So maybe I'll just hang it up and pretend I'm keeping it. And then if I wear it, I'll keep it. And if I don't, I have to get rid of it. Maybe I'll give myself, well, some of it's like winter stuff, so. I don't know. I'm gonna put this back in my closet. Okay, much better. <laughs> now, next time I will tackle my desk and the floors. But for now, we're not doing that. So, goodbye. Can we just take a minute to see how amazing the Ipsy and BoxyCharm and Icon Box were this month? Because I've never in my life had them give me NARS, MAC, <laughs> um, Volition, uh, Natasha Denona, like all of this, like Amika, are you kidding me? By far, hands down, best one I've had thus far. I did just order some shirts for my Muscle Mummy t-shirts. I ended up getting the comfort colors and the color bay because I thought this looked really cute with that color combo. So that should come in in the next week or so. And then I did buy two more of my tan comfort color um, boxy tees just so I can get those uh, freebie prints on them. P.S. Super random, but this candle is so strong but delicious smelling from Walmart six dollars and some change um highly recommend it highly recommend especially if you're on a budget and bath and body works candles are just a little too pricey I 
I'm back. We had some unfortunate happenings this morning. My heat press is in my kitchen because now I thought we had this fixed, but apparently not because it had stormed really, really bad this morning. And there's just something in my brain that clicked. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go check this back room because that's where I just put up my stock table where I had my heat press sitting and where I had like all my clothes organized that <laughs> you guys saw. And um, there it was, a, a leak. Luckily though, I caught it before it really got on anything. It only was dripping right on top of my heat press, but it had just started. So like, I'm glad that I recognized because we haven't had a leak in the roof since it's been almost a year. And I guess apparently whatever way the wind was blowing, <laughs> it happened again. So I did have to move all of my clothes over in the corner again, which where I just took them out of, but they're dry. I did have um, a couple sweaters that I ended up putting in the wash because I had some splatter from where the heat press was that like got on it. And like, I just didn't want to chance it getting like rain spots on it. So I had a batch of laundry done. Um, no damage. We're good. Uh, just a cleanup really. So the, the rain's done. I need to wash all those now. I think what my plan is, and what I've been doing all morning, is um, planning out what I need this room to be now. So I'm gonna show you guys, Oliver. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the table here. I'm not gonna have any of my merch on it though. I am gonna put my heat press back on it, just because this is a sturdy table and it needs a sturdy surface. Um, did something just drip on me? I feel like that's in my brain. No, there's nothing up there. Oh, so we have wood paneling up here. So when it leaks, it's always right here. So I'm gonna put my heat press back here. Just not in this, this is the corner. This is the bad corner. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I ordered a mattress cover. We're gonna go ahead and take this bed down to the basement, like apart. I'm gonna put the mattress cover on it so that the mattress stays safe because this is gonna end up Asher's bed at some point. And then, so the bed's gonna be gone. I bought some shelving units where I'm gonna put the merchandise. Um, and I needed that anyway, so this just triggered me to actually get it right now. So yeah, I'm gonna have to organize this room, which just sounds awful. <laughs> And my closet I need to organize. That's not gonna be like, that's just, I just need it for myself. Close up of the beautiful kitty, hello. You're so cute, you're such a cute baby. They're gonna miss this bed for sure. I did just order a really adorable pink garment rack to hang my, uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts on to do like promo for TikTok and just have a like cute little backdrop for it um and I also like obviously that seems a little not really dumb to buy on its own for it um but I was thinking in the long run that I would use that for like markets and if I want to do festivals which I've been really toying with I just feel like there's a lot more logistics and like expensive that go into doing festivals and markets than people normally think of because I've been watching a lot of um, small business owner YouTube blogs and like there's things like you need to have like, tables you need to have a tent you need to have like sandbags for the tent because then your stuff will like topple over and hurt other people's displays and um all of that is expensive luckily my mom got us a table so step one but like you need a table cover you need to have like displays for how you're gonna present your stuff you need to have um like marketing and things to say how much stuff is there's just like so much so i feel like if i slowly get those things then it won't be as like scary to do. I did find a really cute market festival um, coming up in October. So I really needed to decide because I need to send in my application for it to see if I get approved before like I go into like ordering a tent and all that. Um, but I do think like I could be reasonably successful at a market, which is why I'm wanting to do it. And I am. I'm wanting to do scrunchies and like tote bags and 
Um, there's just like a lot of things I want to do and I feel like I'm jumping the gun. So I'm really sticking right now to just my embroidered sweatshirts um, and hoodies and then my heat press um, prints and like doing my own designs. Aside from my just waiting for Halloween design that you guys saw. I love that one. I think I'm going to order more of those soon because Halloween stuff is going to end up... Um, like, I really feel like September is the only time when you're really going to sell much of that. So I need to get that order in and then um, just order more of my stuff. And embroidery takes forever. So um, I'm going to do less of that, but like still the most that I can. So like I can embroider and heat press at the same time, but like I can only really do like tops five embroidered sweatshirts a day. And that's like an all day long venture. Like I did five within a uh, like 10 hour period. And like that was a lot <laughs> because my machines is just like a one at a time thread. It's not like, I'm sure you've seen the machines that have like six or eight threads or like a million threads on it where they can do all the color changes all in one. Like you don't have to do anything that snips it for you, but like mine's not like that. Um, so it takes a long time <laughs> on average an hour. A sweater so that's what I'm saying five sweaters is doable a day so like really what can I do a week like 25 ish I could maybe more I don't know it depends what I'm doing for the day so anyways that's what I'm doing right now I did organize what I need I need to really get on once Asher gets up I'm gonna start my um, bougie black sweaters and then I need to make him some food for the week I have to make him some pasta and then freeze it so I'm gonna get started on that. I just wanted to update you guys. Okay, last update, because I have to end the vlog because it's getting too long and my computer cannot sustain this. I just got my Vistaprint order. I ordered some tags to put on my clothing and merch. And, why do I call it merch? It's not merch. <laughs> but on my clothing designs. And it's so freaking cute. Also, this is the name of my um brand it's called the chunky bee and the logo i made is just a fat little bee it's so cute and then the back of it has the care instructions so i'm gonna use this and tag um the clothes with it where the clothes strip not the actual garment i love them they turned out perfect and it was really inexpensive i got I think I got like 500 of them for 40 bucks or so. I have two big stacks of these. So that's gonna last me a very long time. And I just got it, yeah, off Vistaprint and then I used Canva for it. So really cool. And it just makes it look a little more like professional, which I love. So that's everything. <sighs> Next vlog, I'll probably do actually more um, heat pressing because I should have my prints coming tomorrow or the day after. And then I'll get started on that. So I am so happy you're here. Please follow if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you like super soon. So bye. Oh, P.S. You're not going to see an Ipsy video because I realized I accidentally deleted it while I was trying to clear up my computer stuff. So um, that's not coming, but I might put a shorts up of um, like not my first impressions. So we'll, there, there's that. It was really good though. You guys saw it. Anyways, love you. Bye. <laughs> All these broken